when the symptoms first came up, I knew. Like, mm, yeah. I just knew. Like, it was a little, little cough, cough. Mm. And then, like, on Sunday, I was watching, you know, I was waiting up for the Liverpool versus um, Man, City. City. Man City game. Right. Yeah. If, you can, if you can imagine, I lay on the sofa waiting for this game. I watched the two previous games. Next thing I know, it's four o'clock in the morning, bruv. And I've, what? I've, I've passed out and, and I've woken up. And usually when you wake up, like, you know, wake up, go to bed, you know, you've got two hours before work. Fam. Yeah. That the struggle from the sofa to the bed. I was like, damn, man. <laughs> it's not worth it. 8.30 the next morning, I went straight to get tested, fam. The mics are blood clot open. Check, check, check. Select accent for the podcast. <laughs> Calvin. Calvin's always late. Episode 95, the mics are open. My name's G Money. Andy Young. A big C. What's going on, guys? Easy, Shilling. man. Yo, Z, how you feeling, man? Let's start there. How you feeling? Man, um, I've had better days, bro. I've had better days. No lie. You sound like it, man. I just want you to be okay, bro. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be okay, man. But fam, you know, we've, I was thinking this morning that like, for more than half the life of, uh-huh. of this podcast, we've spoken about COVID-19. Uh-huh. And I think we first spoke about it around about episode 40 or 38 mm-hmm. which means that we've done almost like a year's worth of content and Whoa. it's just been in the, the back shadow of our life COVID here yep. there. but after a year it done got one of us bro <laughs> but yeah, man, man. money's in down though money's in down speak for yourself bro. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm speaking for you bro Fam, manifesting man I'm blessed. yeah yeah you know so far no, no complications other than the usual lethargy and the headaches and stuff which mm. is cool um, mm. so I'm, I'm thankful and i'm grateful that mm-hmm. so far on the journey it's not been it's not been um rough but if someone says to you right now that it's just a flu or it's just a little bit of tiredness punch that nigger in the face in the face bro <laughs> i'm telling you this tiredness mm-hmm. like nothing i've ever felt in my entire like my entire system is what rough. it's nuts wow it's nuts. Yeah, so the sorry, whole man. body aches and everything body aches um i had a few of those on like the second or the third day uh. um but mostly you know, like what i found myself doing was because um you're sleeping and you're so tense you, you end up like um you know like contract what's the word you're looking for when you tense your so i'm waking up with my my my, my hands are in fists you know Ooh. oh yeah so yeah like, yeah so you're like so you, when you when you wake up you, you like your whole body's been tense while you're sleeping mm-hmm. when you wake up you're, it's painful you know oh yeah because you're, you're kind of tired as well your muscles yeah. have been kind of working yeah 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 so oh general fatigue it's a, gen- it's a really weird thing and like what m- this morning when i woke up oh. like i've been trying to just do the um help out at the station because there's a lot of reads and stuff and this morning when i woke up like to help out like oh. Oh, fuck that i'm tired fam Stay in the let bed. me ask you what's what's your appetite like <sighs> well interestingly enough like i've still got my my taste taste uh-huh. my taste and smell is still there thank god um <laughs> no thank god because fam if you add no taste to this thing we probably won't eat so it's just been a lot of fruit mm-hmm. um, a hell of a lot of fruit and also um um a lot of supplements so zinc magnesium calcium yeah. vitamin c all of that good stuff iron as well mm-hmm. and, uh, loads and loads of water now the interesting thing is Mm-hmm. The way it makes you feel, it makes you feel that you don't want to do anything. Like literally, you don't even want to go walk outside or anything. Mm-hmm. But literally, the only way for you to get better is for you to go and walk outside and do those things that keep you moving physically. So I've been trying to do like five minutes on the on the cross trainer, mm-hmm. bust a sweat while I'm here and to get rid of that lethargy. Yeah. Thing, but, but bro, like like tiredness is real. Like I, it's fucking real, bro. Like man, it's tired. So I'm, I'm I wish sorry, you I'm sorry for being a bit irritable. But. No, no, bro. You know what? Um, sometimes you have to allow these things. I know how you are when you're not well or when you're in a certain zone. So, yeah, but just don't don't stay there too long, bro. I, I need you to cheer up, bro. You get me? No doubt. Have you have you checked out the comment section of the behind the scenes video that we dropped yesterday? 
Fam, let me tell you. First of all, how, how are you feeling about that, bro? <laughs> hmm? Bro. Calvin, how are you feeling, how are you feeling about the BTS I'm video? Gonna, I'm going to tell you the truth, fam. I think we may have uh-huh. found the kind of worms. Because... How so? Bro, like, I've watched it, I've read the comments, and obviously I've had time to just sit and back and thinking, and I've got so many questions, bro. But um, I don't think that that next part two will be on camera. I think the next part two just needs to be the three of us. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah? Yeah. You don't want us to give guys an update. Is there an update? <laughs> Are you and Calvin best friends now? Bro, yo, take it. This, this is the thing. Look at it as a movie. Character development, you know, plot twists here and there. Things aren't as they seem you get and as the story develops yo you never know bro so i feel like we have a series in our hands that we can play around with mm. content. yeah everything is content yeah that's content yeah everything. i reckon we can do monthly checkups check-ins however you want to call it mm. but yeah you you, you, said, you said you had questions when you watched it yeah but i i just don't think that uh <laughs> it's they, they, they'll be they'll be um in the public yeah. You know, we, 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 we raised the scab and it's just showing mm. how real we are. And you never know, I might change my mind. We might have a deep conversation when I'm better and then it's like um and then it's like um yeah, we need to put this out there so people can see. Man, you know what's crazy? I'm holding up panda to the um camera right now. Panda <laughs> panda's wearing a mask bro. Like oh, <laughs> You don't want him catching nothing. These mean streets, man. Panda's like, if you're watching on YouTube, Panda is wearing a N95 mask. Stay safe. COVID compliance. COVID compliance. <laughs> you know who misses Panda? Mm. Grouchy. Grouchy doesn't miss. I'm sure Grouchy misses Panda. Grouchy was here today. Abuses like, the hell out of Grouchy Panda. Grouchy came to my house today <laughs> like nothing was wrong, like it was summertime. Oh, really? Yo, hold up. up. Yo, Grouchy, the cartoons, you want this place? What the hell, bro? Yeah, I thought you were gonna pick this shit with like no, a husband care, cap bro. suit or something. Yeah. Oh man. He just came, took shit. He out. came in, walked in, touched everything. I he was, took a dump? No, no, I was um I was masked up and I told him to sanitize when he was leaving as well, so yeah, he's he's not scared. What do you mean we all have it? Uh me, me, I trust I'm good. I'm tr- I, I trust I'm good. I trust but I'm let good. me ask you, now that we're speaking about this. G, at some point, did you think you had it? When I was testing? No. Before? Like, you know how everyone's always saying, I think I, f- I had COVID at some point. I just nah. never had the symptoms or something. Nah, fam. I, I've never and then this it. hits you like this. Nah. Like, we well, see, we've said on the podcast before how because everyone's washing their hands, wearing masks, the, the annual flu that man usually gets, man didn't even get this time around. You get me? Mm. Mm, so I never... But, so but, shit's real. But I can tell you, like on Saturday, when the symptoms first came up, I knew. Like, mm, yeah. I, knew. I just knew. Like, it was a little, little cough, cough. Mm. And then, like on Sunday, I was watching, you know, I was waiting up for the Liverpool versus um, Man City. City. Man City game. Right. Yeah. If, you can, if you can imagine, I lay on the sofa waiting for this game. I watched the two previous games. Next thing I know, it's four o'clock in the morning, bruv. And I've, what? I've passed out and, and I've woken up. And usually when you wake up, like, you know, wake up, go to bed, you know, you've got two hours before work. Fam. Yeah. That the struggle from the sofa to the bed. I was like, man, man. <laughs> it's not worth it. 8.30 the next morning, I went straight to get tested, fam. You know what I mean? Straight up. I knew, I knew, I knew. And also, it's like, you know, the weirdest thing? Now mm. you start to Google all of the, the various routes of the journey. Mm. So you're, you're googling the mild journey the, the, uh, the average journey the severe uh, journey. and now you start, uh, it starts to play these games in your mind saying okay so <laughs> i haven't got this but i might still get that uh-huh. and then you wake up and then like fam you know me in my house i've got thermometers blood pressure checkers um oxygen meters all of these things so you're like you just mm. continually so my, my, my palo the doctor was just like fam chill bro like i've had it and it was bad for me but just yeah. by your journey so far, you're gonna be cool. But it's just that it's just that not knowing, as we always joke about, is it COVID light, COVID malt, or COVID <laughs> hardcore? You know. Yeah, but yeah. one day we look back and laugh at this. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. 
You guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're taking from it. Uh, no, no, no. Like your silver, silver linings, bro. Yes. Fam, you know I'm taking what what I'm taking from this is this. Uh. Mm. I am now assured that I've not had COVID. Mm. Yet, bro. Yet. Yo, this is a thing, yeah? And we don't take anything for granted. We've talked so many times about being in a place <laughs> where you're not excluding yourself from anything. Like it could happen to you any day, any time. Any day, any time. So you can't say, yo, I haven't caught COVID. I haven't been robbed. I haven't been, you know, yo, bruv, hey, knock on wood, man. No lie. Speedy recovery, bro. No lie. I can't yeah. feel like I know exactly where I got it from, but I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> and how, how are you feeling about that? Angry? Pissed off, man. Because You're pissed you know, off. I'm pissed off because, you see, when I came into contact uh, with a person, naturally uh-huh. my thing is to immediately... Um, if I'm meeting somebody, immediately put on a mask, you know. But I was so caught mm. at the moment, and I was like, "Hey, how you mm-hmm. doing? Da-da-da-da. Hug this, 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 this," and that was mm. that was it. And then they told me this is on a Saturday. They were like, "Oh, you know, mm-hmm. I'm supposed to leave to go to America today, but I'm positive." Something like ah, uh, it's America. Uh, so me, I'm figuring that she had the super, um, the super deluxe version because that shit it was nothing <laughs> more than a brief hug without my mask that's it like you know what i'm trying to say it's so, aggressive yeah because the thing about it is outside of home i take the mask mm. shit very very seriously you know but i think yeah the, hold up mm. What's that? so you you got the symptoms like in what two days how many days two days two days yep two days, bro. that's like lambo of that's the lamborghini of covid fam bruh mm. fam days. 14 days for who yeah, four days. Yo, me, me, I'm just, mm. I'm, I'm just glad that G's a strong guy. He's an optimist, so yeah, he'll be good in no time. Yeah, but it's, it's a little bit scary. Yeah, so, it's a is it? Scary. It's a little bit scary because like yeah, I, yeah, I wanted to ask that. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you do like you do think to yourself, man, what happens if this go left and you start to, you start to think a lot mm-hmm. of stuff like, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like have you updated your will and all of these things. So have you? So have you? I Am I getting more? Ain't getting shit. Am I in the wheel? Am I in your wheel? I'm nah, you're not. So how's See, your how come I'm not in your wheel, bro? Is Calvin in your wheel? Nope. Okay, if he was in your wheel, would you say he was in your wheel? Say again? If Calvin was in your wheel, uh-huh. would you tell us that he is in your wheel? Nah, because he'd try and kill me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so who's in your will that we know, bro, other than your family? Hello? Nobody. Bro, come on. You didn't come to <laughs> Kenya, you know. Huh? Get get your roots deep in ten years and you can't put no one in your will. Text me, text I me. I didn't say that I can't put nobody in the comments. will, but whether you're not you're in my will or not in my will. I'm not gonna sit around here and be like, oh you're in my will. You mad. Yeah. Why not? Niggas can eat at times. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Your, your main sure runs police. <laughs> let me ask you this. What's your brother? How's, how's the, you know, has he been calling more? Giving you hints and telling you, oh, you know, I went through it, this, that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, he has been. But uh, yeah, he has been. He has been. Mm. He has been. Wow, that, that's it. <laughs> no more. Yeah. <laughs> no more. Yes. Um, or maybe you're doing all of this because no, Valentine's is around G the corner. He doesn't want to talk about this, man. <laughs> read the room, one. He doesn't want to talk about this. Yo, um, I, I bumped into something interesting, and I'd want your opinion on it. Yeah. Uh huh. I love you as a friend shouldn't be considered as rejection. Platonic love is also just as strong as romantic love. Don't let society fool you into thinking that it isn't. As everyone clicks in the background no, no, and kisses like, the teeth, um, it shouldn't be. But I, I, have a, I have a question. Remind me, I have a question as well to ask. But it shouldn't be. I mean, okay. It, it, love is love, isn't it? Like, there's different types of love. So maybe a person can't give you 100% romantic love or intimate love, but they can give you 100, mm. 100 friend zone love or, you know, friendship love. It's just that sometimes our aspirations and the things that we want don't tie in with the object of our of our fam it's it's just mm. the way it is you know you can't fool mm. people to love you for example mm. had a convers- i was having a conversation um over the weekend right mm-hmm. one, one of my friends in jamaica right so mm-hmm. uh he has this new chick right 
they've been on and off smashing for a while. So like, so he calls me on Friday, Friday or Saturday, and he's like, "Yo, I go on." Then he's like, "Yo, fam, you never guess what happened." So he tells me about this chick. This is. He tells me in the middle of smashing, she says, "Man, I love you so much." <laughs> Yo. Man said he went cold, fam. No, let's let's talk about that, bro. I'm yeah. even so glad that you've brought this up. Man, let's talk about that. Man said he went cold. He said, "Yo, get limited in Jamaica. In Jamaica, my youth. May I tell you now, everything's flop. Come and know. Where for tell the girl? You can't, you can't wait till me and make the thing. And you can't tell me say you love me. Everything flop, my youth." Wow. But what would you do, bro? In the middle yeah. of sex, she pulls that out of the bag like, yeah. hey, yo, me, I love you. Know you. What? Let me tell uh. you, I can tell you one thing, 100%. I'm remaining silent. I don't think... Like, you'll there. just keep it going? Yeah, keep it going. Find some find some adequate sound. Uh. <laughs> uh, sound effects, bro. I, like, I love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do, uh, no, G, no, <laughs> let's find, not do it. <laughs> find some adequate non committal sound. It's not fair. But, 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 but if you ever say I love you during sex, it's not really I love you. I love, I love what's happening here. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so if um, I say I love you during sex, mm. fam, understand. If I tell you I love you when you're about to get on a plane, mm. you know things may happen. Or, yeah, I meant that. Or, uh-huh, uh-huh, if, or, if, or if I made it clear, even if uh, you've never responded and been like, you know, what, I love you, and even if you've not been at a point where you can say I love you too, because I honestly don't think you should say it just for the sake of saying it if you don't mean it. Yes, you know? yes, yeah, yes. I think it's unfair to do that shit during during sex. No, 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 bro. No, let's unpack this. This is the kind of worms today. Now, you all know an artist called Mulatto, a female artist called Mulatto, and uh, Lil Baby. They have a song called Sex Lies. Okay. And it's a fact. We have all told lies during sex. Okay. I'm not a speaker. What do you mean you're not a speaker? So fucking boring. I mean, you're not no. Are you, you just like a slap? Calvin, you might have slipped oh, something. Do you, exactly. No, guys. You, you, your mom during sex? Oh you don't God. even groan, no. a little so, groan. Listen, <laughs> there's so many different sounds people are make. Guys smashing, groan. Are guys are like, oh. Exactly. Huh? Smashing in silence. Am I, no, just, no, no, no. It's not. You're giving people subtitles. You're just surprised that you're in there. You're just like, quiet. <laughs> 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 So you see, this is actually something. Um, you guys follow this chick called the Vibrating Lawyer. Hey, you, you really guys, like she, her, bro. Fam, she, I follow her. So she so posts many up, times. She posts up a whole bunch of stuff. Mm. And she was asking women what kind of stuff they do when they're coming, right? Some mm. chicks were talking about their legs shake, others cast, others, you know, squirt, all of all of these different kind of things. Right? And I was just like, hmm. The shorties who actually always tell you, who are saying, fuck, I love you. What? All of these things. Yes. During the day, they don't cast me. Nothing. Exactly, bro. They're you called sex lies. This ex- this is the thing. This is the thing. In, Why would you during, call them lies? They're probably just expressing themselves. No, because it's a lie. They don't love you, do they? Fam. They don't. Okay, Calvin, let me ask you something. Mm. The fact that you say you're not a talker during sex means you're a liar because has a babe ever asked you, or oh, do you like this? Yes. I'm sure there's a baby who's asked you whether you like something that she did no. very terribly you and you see, said when yes. when you quantify and say, I'm not a talker, the small things you can say, oh, everyone has asked, do you like this? Do you want to, f-? you know. We're talking but about sex lies, bro. Who talk more. It doesn't matter. We're talking about sex lies. Have you told a lie or nah? Bro, this is not radio. You have 30 seconds to talk or nah. Nah. This is sex. Do you like this you or nah? Let's, let's put it like this. Do you construct sentences? What do you mean do I construct sentences? Ah, fam, not like... What like, do you mean do I construct you sentences, bro? Nah, uh. like, like, you're not gonna, it's not a dissertation, like, do you know what, by the time I left the office today, I knew that it was going to be a yeah. wonderful experience as I made my way to the west side of town. I went through traffic, came around the house, came to your house, went through the door, had a great meal, drank some ice water, went to piss and then came back to this amazing sex. No, no one's not asking you for like, <laughs> that. <laughs> no one's asking for that. Like, that would be no. something, though. Yes, yes but, so Calvin. let's define it. But what I'm saying is, Fam, like when it comes to sex, like the 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 the, the, the more vocal, the better, fam. 
Your hobby making noises. Don't get it. Oh no, now you oh, make now noises. Ah, uh, Calvin, no. make up your mind, bro. No, no, it's no not Calvin. That. Make up your mind, bro. Groans. First of all, you're quiet Groans in the bedroom. Now you're, you're, you're noisy let, in the bedroom. Let, 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 let which is which, boy? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever held like a, a, a chick by the the throat? Yeah. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just saying. Have you ever like um um Yeah, that, that's, that's fair enough. Pull the hair. Yeah, okay. Really the hair cuz the hair's a long thing, but like just like literally the shoulders and uh and the neck and stuff, you know? So I'm Okay, Calvin. Say, how do you get to that point of whole like like <laughs> How do you get to that point? <laughs> bro, it has to be heavenly, bro. Yeah, how do you get it has to, to be point, spiritual. How do you get to that point of holding someone like... Because, you know, by this time now, it's like a battle. You're not, you're not even making love. Y'all are fucking... You get me? And by this point now... Yeah. Like, you can't tell me at that point there. You're just like, so... What's up from Blue Ticks? Uh, exactly, exactly, bro. bro what, ah, what, so what no, G, no, G, me, let me work with you. We'll come to Calvin. So, <laughs> G, what, what sex lies have you told you? You know these things. Lies. I've, I've not said, I've not lied about loving somebody because I'm not going to do that. Mm. I'm in control mm. enough to know that that's a very slippery, slippery um, slope. That's also, fine. Yeah. What I have you lied about? I've also promised myself many years ago that I'm going to be completely honest. Like in terms of, 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 of how I am in terms of commitment or relationships or whatever. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna I'm past the stage of telling you lies to to get with you. You know what I'm trying to say? Wait, but, you're saying many things, but now just tell me the sex lies that you've told in the bedroom, bro. Any lies. I've not really told any lies as And I, promises? No. You haven't no. made promises? Like I'm gonna love you forever. Fuck out of here. <laughs> no, like I'm finna buy you something after this, no. bro. What the yeah. fuck are these conversations people are having? What? Hey, bro, that's sex lies, bro. Okay, no. okay, let, let me give you all no, let me give you all an nah. example, okay? What sex lie I have told is there's a babe who asked me whether the head she gave me was good and it wasn't. And but I those, said are those happening during can I the speak? action or after? Quite that's what the, is sex? That's a definitive. That's what you need to say. During the action, how the fuck are you gonna tell someone I'll buy you land bro you never know it could be oh, that good Jesus, I ain't pussy that good enough <laughs> like I'm putting you in my wheel I, I, nah. hint hint I fuck I that I lie I lie I lie I may have so you put someone in your wheel because eh? I, I may have told the odd lie I may have said I'll get you an Uber <laughs> <laughs> But knowing I've got the Uber and I've changed the payment to cash. <laughs> ah, damn. No, no you're no, far no, for no, that, bro. No, no, no. But mm. like, I know to go back to what you're saying, I think mm. I just think at the end of the day, mm. like when it comes down to intimacy, man, it's like when you both let yourself go, I can't like I can't imagine just being silent or being conservative or being well, I can't I can't imagine that shit. Like and then the day, to answer your question about a chick who's giving you bad head. There's nothing as disappointing as that. It's so How are you even gonna wait through bad head? Get Bro, your we've we've done things you're not proud of. Oh, hell. I have to admit it. We've done things you're not proud of. You huh? waited through it. Yeah. And she was giving teeth. Yeah, beats. Hey, yeah. Please. I'm sick. Do, do, do you know sometimes it's hard to present these conversations you know so uh-uh. sometimes you you let you let uh-uh. them finish what they're doing Bro, and then but also to be honest, but to be yeah. honest though also yeah. what is this steak <laughs> yeah also, also gets to a point where you're confident enough to stay easy with the teeth yeah you know what I mean? true very true very true Jeez. yeah yeah so yeah, that, 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 yeah that was just it get gets mm. locked jaw moving on <laughs> god moving on Platy locked you. Anyway, moving on. Um, fam, I saw something today that made me very happy. Okay. Um, the story coming out of Ghana where they've now said that the uniform, the school uniforms in Ghana must be made from, <sighs> or from they call them Kenti cloth in, um, in Ghana. Meaning now that mm. they've got rid of that whole archaic British boarding school shit of wearing blazers. Dull colours. Grey shirt. Did, did you guys have to wear jumpers as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. bro. Like, these Blazer, guys are dreeping hard. Shirt. Um, do you guys wear blazers? Black shoes. Huh? Do you guys wear blazers? Do we wear blazers? Did you? Did I wear? Okay, in school, yes, we did wear blazers. So you had your blazers, your sweaters, sweaters, yes, half shorts. coats, shorts, trousers, everything, okay. long sleeved, short sleeved, and then you know they used to be different for prefects and for regular students. Right, right. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. That's the mm. craziest. Like for example, for me, when I'm driving to uh, work in the morning, and you know mm. we're next to uh, Westlands Primary, and also. I live near to uh, Upper Hill Secondary. Mm. I see these kids even on a Saturday, bro, trying mm. to back into campus. 
in a fucking jacket, the blazer, shirt, jumper, tie. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, Dream. 2021, why are we still inflicting this shit on our kids? And then I saw the pictures of the types of school uniform that they are uh, having the kids um, um, put on. In Ghana. In Ghana, and I was like, yeah. Yo, fam, this is something. Cultural appreciation starts at a very <clears throat> young age. And when you think about it, right, mm-hmm. I always wondered why is it that in West Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, um, Senegal, Gambia, we feel nothing about wearing um, our natives, uh, uh, we say Kitengas, whatever, you know. In Nigeria, mm. like you use the office in your colorful traditional, sometimes you wear your shirt and your tie. But you can you, no one's looking down on you if you've dressed up like in a native to go to work. In Kenya, True. we don't have that culture. You know, over in Kenya now, when we wear Kitenge, we looked as cool. Or yes. Cool or something. When it should be the norm. And if you think exactly. about it, all of this, this, this um, fashion houses, Dior, before COVID, half of their fashion lines were all Kitenge fabrics. So once and, again, they rock mm. our culture, <laughs> tweak it, throw it on a skinny white bitch, and it becomes high fashion. <laughs> we need that in Kenya. We no. know that. Y'all yeah, seen the new changes with the <laughs> education system? Wait, 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 even before you get deep into education. Um, looking at how we handled our police uniform situation, uh-huh. as a country, do you think that we can go back to the drawing board? and trust someone to come up with different school uniforms from different material that we produce locally to give different students different well, options. Yeah, I, do you, th- I do you think, think we can pull that off in the 254? Well, now it becomes an entire business. For example, let's mm-hmm. say there's this particular Kitenge, which is the uniform for this school. Mm-hmm. You can now confidently go out there and buy 5,000 rolls of this um, fabric every year. Mm-hmm. You can say to your suppliers, you know what, don't send me 10 different ones. Send me 10 of that one because I know that at the end, end, end of the school term, guys mm-hmm. are going to come in to get their, their uniform material. At the moment, it's so scatty. Like, parents are going all over the place to get their, their stuff and nobody really benefits. There's a chance for us to change the culture of young people, change the cultural acceptance. True. I'm here for True. it. True. So what do you mean? Parents have to go everywhere. Like what I'm trying to say, like when you go to get your uniforms, yeah? Uh-huh. There's no thought into it. Maybe you go, I don't know where guys buy uniforms here. Can you can your uniforms? Yeah, outfitters, right. school outfitters and right. them so lots. Say yeah. now, there's an opportunity for other players in the game now to specialize in Ketenge to say, okay, to even advise and style up your game a bit and, and go to the teachers at the schools and say, this is our, um, our range of fabrics for the next five years. Or this is what the Form 1s will wear this year. This is what the Form 2s, you get. There's ah, so many, yeah. There's so many <coughs> options. You know, bro. Mm. I'll wait for I'm that, that day. Too. I'm with that too. Yeah, bro. You guys have seen the changes. <coughs> the I've, report, I've had, rather. I've had a couple it's, of it's, rumors. It's not a change yet. So it's a report that was presented by the president. So it's called the competency-based curriculum. Uh huh. Okay. So what it means is this, right? <coughs> Kids are now not going to sit for KCP. Okay. They'll be sitting for internal exams mm-hmm. that, you know, guarantee that they're going to transition to high school, right? So now high school traditionally, which was first form all the way up until fourth form, mm-hmm. now has six years. Okay. And so uh, there's junior. Okay. And there's junior, junior high school and there's senior high school. Are we doing that? Bro. Are we really doing that? You're going to transition to that. Oh, Wow. Yeah, that so that's, those are some of the rules that have been announced, right? <clears throat> How are we feeling? Wait, wait, first of all, high school six years. Yeah. So are we still doing like eight, six, something or? No, 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 they've, they've just called it the competency-based curriculum. So that remember before we had transition from primary to four. high school. Well, yeah. go on, that transition from primary to high school. Mm. That transition? Yeah, what are you talking like, about? like before, before the six years in yeah. high school. Uh, uh, we're still doing like quote unquote eight years mm. no. of, of primary education. No, primary school ends mm. at class six. At class six. Yes. Mm. Oh, so not from class, class six you transition into into whatever, into high school. Oh, uh, okay. Where you spend six more years. So in short, okay. remember when you went to fast form? Yeah. Now you have six years. No, but <clears throat> uh, with the same with the same breath, you mm. said you're only doing until class six. Yeah. Not class eight. 
it's yeah. the same difference. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah but there's, the there's no problem it's, with that. I'd be I'd be okay with doing six years in no, no, no. high school if I did six years in Get this. in in primary. You're going to an institution mm. where you know. Rem- just put put it like this. Okay. G. Yeah, I'm listening. Remember when you went into high school? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Going into high school two years before. Mm. Right? Yeah. So you have to extend your high school for all of those years. Right. Yeah, I I feel like you 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 really forgetting the primary bit where you've removed two years, bro. No, because it has a or rather me I'm seeing things differently. Come putting it like this. Mm. You know, you're going into high school. High school has like a lot of level of maturity, right? Um, yeah. So because you have guys who have turned eighteen and everything, and now you're going into that kind of system, mm. you get. But where, it, it 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 has to be different right now because you 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 split it into three. Junior, senior, or something, or is this junior and senior high? Senior, it's junior and senior high. Senior. Basically, here's the thing: uh. high schools are going to be expanded yes. to accommodate two more years for guys to uh, a younger bunch of kids to come in. Then they'll have to cater for things like that because they'll understand the maturity level is different right now. It's they'll have to. Crazy, I, get, I get your question there. Yeah, that's a very good question, Calvin. I get it. Yeah. Valentine what other changes are there? <laughs> hmm? are, those, are, 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 those, are those the most important changes that we're looking forward to? No, it's just interesting. You mm. know, we were talking about the education system. I think on the Monday, Minnesota, a couple yeah. of weeks ago. Yeah. So this is going to be interesting seeing how the country rolls this out. Mm. Okay. Uh, third major education change. We've only had three education changes right. in 1965. 85, that's 844G, the one you're always taking shots at. Mm. And now this. Yeah, well, I hope the best for the kids, man. That's all I can say. Um, I mean, I'm not flattening the argument, but I'm listening to you. Any system that's going to be implemented is going to have a great deal of push and pull. Initially, mm. it's going to take at least six, seven years to bed down. But I also believe with, ed- with ed- education, <coughs> you can't delay. You have to just do it. And yeah. yeah. Changes, you can't stop. And I but think what that's a problem because they've had all uh. these people reviewing the curriculum over these last few years. But nothing's actually yeah. happened. Do you know what I mean? But what I like about it mm. is the fact that they said um, it's it's going to be one of those education systems that's going to lay a lot more emphasis on talent, right? That's good. Because eight four four has always been very. You're going to be a lawyer. You're going to be a doctor. Mm. So all of these guys with you know, if you want to explore art, if mm. you want to produce music, all of mm. these different kind of things, mm. it's actually going to be catered for, for in the mm. system, mm. and they're saying a whole fifteen percent mm. of that. Yo, I'm here for it, bro. Mm. That's dope. Yeah, I'm here for it. Fun. Let's do that. Yeah. Because some, some of us, maybe, bro, would yeah. have been. No. Yeah, where's your girlfriend, G? I don't know, man. Valentine's is. No. I've got COVID from. Guys. <laughs> um, COVID, no girlfriend. I was about Valentine's. S- something, this, this, something amazing is about to happen this weekend. Uh huh. Other than Valentine's? Out the blue. You're going to. My auntie. Has announced she's getting married. Yeah, I was I was really waiting for that, bro. I was really waiting for Calvin to tell us that he's gonna wait, propose, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Your auntie is getting married. Yes. Can I ask you which auntie this is? My mom's sister. Is this the one who's got her church? Yes. The one who you said last week is fulfilled in life and got there without needing anyone. That same one. That same one. <laughs> Gee, you're bad. <laughs> I'm just checking. Yeah. Okay. So Out she wasn't as fulfilled as you. Blue. <laughs> huh? Calvin, your thoughts? <laughs> what are your? Th- you thought she was full food. Fam, yeah. She called me. Uh huh. She was like, "So on Saturday, I need you to pull up because your you, your uncle, grandfather are gonna be the men who are representing the family, mm. right? Mm. In terms of when the guys come in for the introduction and everything, right? So." Hi, we want this daughter of yours who's over fifty, and I love it. <sighs> so how are you feeling about it? Um, I feel like it's too rushed. It's mm. too rushed? Because they're doing the intro this month. Mm. In a month, they do the whole dowry. Mm. In another month, the wedding. Fine. She's 50, bro. If she wants to get married today, today, at the AG's office, trust me, it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, she's There's no time happy. we're wasting, bro. Uh, but but you, you feel like it, I think you feel a bit a bit down or a bit not no 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 or formal <laughs> perhaps 
it's just yeah. I don't know I don't know to what extent of private stuff we can mention on the podcast because mm-hmm. I think this may come back to bite me but yeah I think we'll just leave it there has she ever has she, has she safe has she ever ever had sex before <laughs> she's got a kid okay. duh wait a minute wait a minute wait a cotton picking minute this lady <laughs> whom you said last week was so fulfilled that she started a church and she don't need nobody has a kid bro I've got a cousin he's no, 28 I'm, years old I'm, I didn't know how am I supposed to know that I've never met your cousin oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, you didn't draw the connections for us bro but I'm no, telling no, yeah. you you're telling me that she's fulfilled and she's had like dick 28 years ago maybe that was- <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, Z, no, Z, no, Z those, no. those are two yellow cards, bro. No. no, no. O- o- one more strike and you're no, out. you made it look like, when we had a conversation, and that's why you have to be consistent, you made it look like, you made it look like this woman had given her life to Christ. Kumbe, it was after having the f- <laughs> <laughs> And what's the problem with that? And now, 20 mm. years later, Miss mm. Fulfilled, is now saying to you, you know what? There's another poll I need to slide on. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, get more fulfilled. Bye, Calvin. <laughs> Bye. Bruh. Just be consistent. That's why no, you're no, no. That's why you're like, what the hell? That's the reason. Yeah, also, no, also. No, 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 yeah. Who, who Listen, are you taking to the wedding? Bro, bro, here's the thing. Um, is it gonna the be homie's white? been there. It shouldn't be a white wedding. I'm telling you that for free, yeah? <laughs> let, them wear, the homies... let them wear Kitenge, because I don't trust her. <laughs> The homie's been there, right? So he's been for Christmas twice. And, and, re- and the y'all? whole... No, not one hint, two years, bro. Hi. Bro, this is they come pro- in like separate cars. This is my pro- um, oh, It's always like, oh, this is my colleague. We do all of this pasta shit together. Yeah. So as kids are always like, yeah, some oh, pasta this guy you. pulls up for Christmas. Uh-huh. His family's always here. He doesn't want to do Christmas with them. Uh-huh. And boom, he shows up. Mm-hmm. Why? Why are Christians? Then, why are we this lucky with relationships? You know, I'm always talking bro. to my cousin. I'm like, yo, is your mom with that homie? My cousin's like, nah, bro. Why? Why be- would you ask someone that, bro? Why bro. would you ask your cousin if the mom is seeing someone? That's because, a very odd. Co- if you are my cousin, bro, boundaries, bro. What do you mean boundaries? Can, yo, is your I'm mom too seeing grown up, yo, man? Yo, yo, I can yo. ask him. Yo, yo is yo. your mom seeing that guy? Simple yo. as that. It all depends on how you guys get okay, along. Okay, okay, you get? true, true, true. Yeah. I see a situation where you can so, ask that question. The 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 bit for me that's mildly annoying. Fuck it. This may come back and bite me. <laughs> they only told my cousin on Saturday. Hey. So what's wrong with that? Fam, they went and told everybody in my family okay. that they were going to do it. But the son, they only told on Saturday. So what I did, I just gave him an ultimatum. I was like, if you, f- sorry, if you guys don't do it, I'm going to have to tell him. Wow. Damn. Imagine. Okay. Valentine. <laughs> yes, Calvin. Who are you taking to the wedding? Well, I don't know. You don't uh, know. Take us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, G, G, stay in. The comedic. Oh shit! I'm isolated. No, no, no. The wedding's in. Um. Okay. Oh, what month? Feb, March, mm. April. April. Seventeenth. Yeah, man. April seventeenth. Yeah, so I didn't take that too lightly because I was like, yo, if that my did, mom did we just pulled, give a date yo, to, to, your, to your auntie's you, wedding? My mom Niggas are going to pull up for this wedding, bro. Huh? Niggas my, are going to pull up for this wedding. They ain't got the location. Oh, you ain't yeah. got the ad yet. <laughs> but, but no, it's helping. It'll be an Insta story. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, let me tell you this. Uh, if my mom pulled that shit on me. Okay, I need to ask a question bro- about Insta Brought a homie mm. um, and said, okay, cool. Yeah, I want to do this. Mm. And I'm the last to find out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, that could be a problem. That yeah. could be a problem. You know, what's your question? I'm glad I'm at the age where none of this shit phases me. I'm like, oh, you're getting married tomorrow? Oh, sour. Okay, cool. My, Pull up. My, my good friend um, who lives next door, who will remain, I won't but she shouldn't say that, but yeah, my good friend got married the other day. Because of COVID, it was a very... Um, <laughs> small, small. Mm-hmm. So um, I even the night before we got married, some of his friends were at Milan and they were like, yo, you need to come through with him after party here, this, this, this. And I was like, you know what? Like, man ain't really been invited, but I'm not like bitter because man had said to me that it's going to be a very small digital wedding and I didn't have the link, but I felt nothing. You know what? Ten years ago, I'd have been like, how the fuck can this be happening? <laughs> your boy is like, you know, you can't marry, you don't tell me. Now, I could. 
could not even give the slightest fuck. And I'm cool and I'm happy and I'm it just and I think it's an like I've been thinking a lot. I've gotten so calm emotionally as I've aged because like I said at some point I would have felt disrespected that you're having your big day, can't get involved, can't buy your gift, this, this, but no, like if you get married, what tomorrow? Hey, send me the link here. Cool, wait, ah, wicked man. Cool, we talk on Monday. <laughs> just don't Yo. Know. Uh, what, what was that point where you stopped caring like that? <laughs> what, what happened? I just think it's, a, and it's the only thing I still care about. The only thing that I can say that I have maybe no control over that I still care about a little bit is work. You know what I mean? Like, I, okay. still, I still want the station to do well. I still want the, the presenters to be dope. I still want to do, but apart from that, I'm just not bothered. Like, I'm genuinely not bothered. I'm more excited about my own stuff that I'm doing. You know what I mean? Um, Yo. I hear you. Mm-hmm. I hear you. What are you saying about Insta Stories? Insta Stories. Yeah, so last week, mm. over the weekend on Insta Stories, um, I was just flipping through Insta Stories. And fam, I had a streak where everybody's story I went on, guys were showing them drinking alcohol and taking shots. Even you were there, Calvin. Yeah. Uh, showing alcohol and taking <laughs> shots. Mm. And it was six <clears throat> different stories back to back. And it really made me think to myself, like, I know Instagram went from, we went through the food phase. We had to snap everything, all the food that you're eating and stuff. Yeah. But I, I, I just wondered, and it's a question I'd ask is, when you see these people turning up for the gram, having fun, are they really having fun? Or are they lost in the Instagram moment and not in the actual moment? Because it's so easy to, cur- to curate an <coughs> experience. So I'm kind of thinking at the end of the day, like, like, for example, if I go out there and I have fun, the experience that I want to convey is why it was fun. Man, the internet mm. was crazy. I might do a piece to camera and say, let me tell you, Blinky Bill, you're a legend. You killed this. You did this, man. Listen, if you know what I'm trying to say? I want to share yeah. how I feel about the experience. But I don't think anyone's showing alcohol does that. And I'm wondering, like, I see it. All of these new venues where all the cool kids are going and hanging out and DJing and all that stuff. Beautiful, yeah? But how yeah. much in the moment are people, especially given that a lot of the music that we're listening to right now is so soulful, you know, like, like in e, if it's EDM and you're mm. high on drugs and booze, I get it. Mm. But for me, if it's something like I'm a piano or something like some of the stuff coming out of West Africa, it's such a vibe that you're in that vibe. Mad, so mad. You're on a journey. Mm. Where do you hop out of that journey and start, let me get my camera and show guys that I'm drinking? I just found it, it maybe if it hadn't been six stories back to back, I wouldn't have noticed it. But I, I'm, trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to wonder what that is. I don't know. Why did you make the comment after? What's that? The comment that you put up on your Insta story. Uh, the comment was, imagine I've just seen three stories back to back and everybody's showing toast. Imagine we know that you drink. And then I said, enjoy. Yeah. So my, that's my question. We know that you drink. Because I think for me, <clears throat> I think for me it's like, Everybody on their social media has what they post. Yep. Mm-hmm. You get? Yep. Yeah. Uh, like by Wednesday, I already know G's going to be push, pushing Milan. Yep. By the way, yeah, we need to talk about that. You get? Okay. Andy, every single day I know you post up your? Million always words. Exactly. Yeah. So I feel like it's one of those things where, you know, back to your previous point. Let people be. Yeah. Mm. Um, and to add on to that, you've asked a very important question. At what point do people stop having fun and make it all about the camera? Mm. Um, I'd say it's, it's, let me set it up like this. When, when guys are out, yes, we go out with the intention of having fun. But at the same time, I am torn in between having fun and capturing these memories, capturing these Mm. moments right now that I'd want to cherish. For example, the last time Taras Riley was in the country, Mm -hmm. I was doing photography for the station. Mm. So it was me and uh, another photographer, uh, shout out to Slam Photography. Mm. Just the two of us on stage, yeah? But I found myself uh, in a bit of a hard place and uh, a rock and a hard place when... um, 
after Swahili uh, started doing Superman, mm-hmm. him and Dean Fraser, mm-hmm. <coughs> the moment it went off, I was caught in between them. Do I shoot this or do I record this moment for me? I also want to be in this moment. Yeah, I know I'm working, but yo, this is Taras Riley, bro. Mm. He's right in front of me. Do I just enjoy this moment? Put all my cameras to the side for a minute and just take it in. You see, yeah. so mm. I'll decide, you know what? For like a quarter of that performance, let me snap something real quick. Mm. Let me keep that for uh, the people who, you know, view my snaps or my Insta stories, people who follow me on social media, see what go on. Because, mm. you know, that's, that's what you have the stories that's why you have snaps for you to share these things so when i see people posting alcohol i understand why they're doing that because that's what they do as calvin is saying that's what they post like i wouldn't be surprised if i saw someone who posts alcohol posting alcohol no i'd be surprised if they started posting up bible quotes and bible verses yes right so as calvin is saying just let them be it's it's like you g it's like i'm like ah here we go milan post again mm. ah mm. nothing different Mm. It's it's just what you post and it's who consumes what you post. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so I think a bit of both. Have fun, capture some moments. What's interesting, have you guys noticed the algorithm for IG has changed? Mm. Has it? How so? Um, in terms of how, mm. before you'd go and pick who's going to be on your close friends, it's now suggesting for you who's your close friends. Is yeah. it? Fam. Mm. Machine learning, bro. It's Actually, a thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that makes it. But... I'd see why maybe based off of mm. interaction exactly. you know who checks out your stuff a lot yeah. damn because i, I, didn't was, cause I was that having way. that conversation with a couple of people who you know a lot of people be on close friends right and yeah. they post mad things on close friends yeah and guys are just like bro please check me from your close <laughs> friends i can't be seeing you how i see you, you get so no, just accept it man it's interesting just like, oh uh, something else about ig i feel like we need to take back or rather i need to take back what i said about them changing um the the outlook and the user interface mm. giving us a shopping button mm. lately i've been realizing how important that shopping button is on ig bro like if i want to look for shoes if i want to look for shirts if i want to look for trousers i just hit that shopping button and boom i can go through what options i have mm. you know so i i think sometimes yeah we're resi- human beings are resistant to change but i i have to take this on back and upload ig for the shopping button they knew what they were doing oh, yeah, yeah that's a dope feature yo guys remember on the podcast last week we were talking about all of these challenges and everything mm. yeah you guys saw the link i dropped which one is that um about these sites actually actually it was a link to a podcast right let me actually just pull it up and we didn't listen to the podcast just in case you realize oh speaking about <laughs> podcasts by the way neville and andy have a mm. new, you don't need to pull it up um neville and andy have a new po- a podcast out called a chop shop it dropped today, the debut, uh, the first episode. So, as well as no, actually today, well, it dropped today, which is a couple of days before yeah. this is dropped. So make yeah, sure you check it out. It's called the Chop Shop. I'm gonna listen to it as soon as we finish. Oh, uh, it's dope, man. Just check us out, man. No, yeah, no, no. I'll <laughs> I'll uh, undeniably, bro. Undeniably. Yep. After, after episode eight. Um, <laughs> and, and for those of you who wonder why I keep on referencing episode eight, um, according to statistics, most podcasts fail by episode eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, do we good? Yeah, we good. We good. All right. So basically, oh yeah. Just give you don't need to find it. Just tell us what he was saying, innit? So he was talking about um, the war between TikTok and IG, right? Uh-huh. So there's actually uh, the creatives at IG and TikTok who come up with some of these challenges, uh-huh. challenges, and then seed them to influencers, right? Yeah. So you know they have some of those big short guys yes, yes, um, yes. who are paid, so what's the and boom, it becomes a challenge. Okay. Oh, so this is the algorithm conversation we were having the no, other time on the podcast we saying, about what trends, what challenges exactly. pop out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a okay. very interesting podcast. It's actually called uh, Business Wars. Business right. Wars. Yeah. So they get to talk about everything that's happening all in right. tech okay, we get and the all of that. We get the point. We get the point. Listen, guys, I don't know about you, man, but I'm tired. I've got a bounce. This has been the Mics Are Open episode 95? 95? 95? Or 94? 94. 94. I think 94. No, I think 95. Okay. Hmm? Yo, you want to tell something to your people before we leave? Your crushes? It's Valentine's, bro. Just tell mumble. people just, something. Just mumble it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Say nothing in the bedroom. <laughs> Trying to figure out what to wear. <laughs> <laughs> to what? The wedding. <laughs> hmm? To the wedding. 
Oh, That's in April. This weekend. Or this weekend. Are you taking someone out this weekend? Hmm? Are you taking someone out this weekend? Oh, Valentine's yeah. weekend. Yeah. Um, are you? What kind of... Bro, no, I'm the one asking you the question. Are bro. you taking anyone out this Valentine's Day? Fam, I see what you're trying to do. It's a simple yes or no question, no. bro. Was that you don't so need hard? To know. Was, was that so hard? You don't need Brady, to know. You can tell us, no, I feel like, I feel like Calvin that. is so close to marriage right now. Like he has a couple of dates he can take out right. this this coming weekend, bro. And anyway, I'm, 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 I'm I like just the messing. image of your podcast. And as referenced <laughs> earlier, uh, I really don't care. Right, this has been the Mike Episode Night Five. My name is Yumani. Andy Young. Peace, G. Calvin. You Yo. say your name. Oh, Big C. Bro, I'm right here next to oh, you. You can say the image oh. of your podcast. Stop, stop, stop. So I can retweet it. Stop. By the way, you know what? Like, uh, I was watching, I was listening to episode number two of the podcast last night. Okay. And this is before, um, before you changed your name to Big C. I don't think we should have allowed you to change your name to Big C. I think your name should have just been Calvin. I'll tell you one day. Anyway, peace. I'm out of the building. The Wait, no, you, you can't end the podcast like that, bro. You tell us one day. You can't end the... Okay, no, you know what? I'll allow it, yes. Just... Okay, just pick it up. So... Have a great evening, guys. Make sure you pick it up from here. So... Hi. I love the suspense. Me, I'm here for the antics. So, just pick it up. Bless. Do you promise? Bless. Man, I'm kissing you ass a bit too much. You can even stay with that story. It's fine. Just make noises. <laughs> <laughs> later, guys. I later, G.